An SUV convertible. Yeah, that's right. Pretty cool, huh? I think so. The Range Rover Evoque convertible. Will I be impressed? Let's find out. Well, I'll tell you right off the bat. Of course I'm impressed. Check it out. It's an SUV convertible. How could I not be? It's bold, it's sexy, it's fun, it's unique. All the things I love about cars, and in this case, SUVs. While you'd think a convertible SUV might come off as awkward looking in some angles, not so for this Range Rover Evoque. It's just really cool any way you look at it. It's certainly cool to look at, but what's it like inside? Well, of course, it is a Range Rover, so it is luxurious. It exudes comfort and style because, of course, Posh Spice designed the interior and uh, Victoria Beckham, of course. And so you know it's got to be nice and stylish. But, of course, it has to be functional, too. And all this in back is the way that the wind buffeting is kept to a minimum. And that way it's not so windy inside that you can't carry on a conversation. After all, this is a very sophisticated car. You get power adjustments, sporty seats, nice big headrest there, very soft, comfortable, all the things you'd expect. And uh, this one in basic black with chrome accents looks good. Certainly very mainstream in, turn of, in terms of car interiors these days, but a nice look. You've got an armrest that doubles as storage. You've got some storage in there, of course charger, HDMI, SIM, USB. Definitely it's connected and that's a good thing. There's the button to put down the top and basic straightforward controls. That awesome transmission stock that comes out when you open it up. Very cool. Large infotainment screen, dual zone climate control of course. Paddle shifters as well. So it definitely has a sporting nature, and of course, it has an off-road nature too. There are of course many driving modes, gravel, mud, sand. This is a serious off-road vehicle, make no mistake. So a good combination of luxury and style inside, and a couple, two seats, maybe three and a pinch in back. And of course, there's a trunk. <laughs> Not as big as some SUVs, but hey, you have to give up something for all this style. This car is certainly an image car. It's really, really unique to me and really cool. Nissan, of course, came out with the Murano convertible. That one is, of course, pretty cool too. They, after all, came out with the idea of the convertible SUV or compact utility vehicle. And uh, to me, it's kind of a cool one, you know? The SUV is supposed to be an all-purpose vehicle and uh, kind of kills it in a sense, but this is a Range Rover, so it's got incredible, incredible off-road capabilities. And even still, you can pop the top down and have fun with it. Sure, you can fit a bunch of people and uh, a bunch of stuff as well, but um, this one, I think, is more sort of Hollywood. You know, designed by Posh Spice, Victoria Beckham. It's got that design flair, and uh, it's just got that look and that fun factor and that uniqueness that's so rare in the automotive world today. I absolutely love the look of this thing, and I love it. I was very anxious to get behind the wheel because it's just so unique. And now that I am, super comfortable, and uh, even with the windows down and uh, top down, you could still hear me, right? And you know, I'm cruising at a little below highway speeds, not too shabby, I think. This is not a numbers form of transportation. 23 miles per gallon and about 60K. That seems very fair to me. I mean, you gotta make some sacrifices, as I said, to have this much luxury and uniqueness and style and alfresco motoring at the same time in an SUV. So in the end, this Range Rover Evoque convertible is really a fashion accessory. Is it a chick car? Probably, but I love convertibles and I think it's absolutely awesome. Looks great and uh, drives great too. 
You can take it off road. You can still put four or five people in it and carry a reasonable amount of cargo, but you know, it's a convertible SUV. What are you gonna say? It stands out for being cool and it stands out for looking great and it stands out for its ability to go off road but most of all it stands out because it is so unique in the automotive world and that to me is just what it's all about there's a lot of copying other cars in this industry and I don't think they've done it. Even their Murano convertible is very different than this one. I think this one looks a lot better and uh, it's got that Range Rover panache that you can only get from Range Rover. This car can take you off road and uh, you'll look good doing it with the top down. Definitely a fashion accessory but definitely very very cool. I am impressed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm driving Ivan.